good morning it is the morning after the night before and i am just on my way to work didn't get a chance to do a reaction video last night uh, for different reasons but i did watch the game last night and i just want to address the negativity surrounding that performance and the result and yes we've not been performing well at all this season and yes the criticism uh, should be there uh, and if it's constructive brilliant great I'm all, I'm all for that but i just think we are living in an age of negativity this uh, sort of idea that every single positive outcome is somehow a negative outcome so you have lots of people whether you agree with them or not they've been saying oh we want van der Beek to start so he started last night but Fernandez didn't start so then that became a negative and we win 2-0 we get a clean sheet but it's like oh well it's not much different than how we've usually been playing but we got a result a positive result we got three points we got through it's a a, a good response from the players after a difficult uh, few days after Ollie losing his job. You get people on, you know, certain media outlets saying, you know, oh, but Villarreal were poor tonight, so we won the game because they were poor. It's just negative all the time, and it's really tiresome because, yes, if you're not performing, and, and you're not getting results, then it's frustrating. And as I say, you can you can be frustrated, you can be constructive, but sometimes you've just got to think, well, we got a result there. We got a result and it, it's something to build on. We could get hammered against Chelsea on Sunday and fair enough, but if we come out of Chelsea with a 1-0 win and um, you know it's not a five-star performance, but it's gritty and we're solid at the back, you know, and players like McTominay or Fred have good games don't hammer them don't hammer them I just find it really tiresome at the moment it's just this culture and maybe it started with AFTV it happens with sort of um, movie reviews as well it happens with those as well it's uh, is it because it gets likes is it because it gets clicks but look Manchester United last night I thought we were really professional and it used to be when you'd go away, particularly in Europe, if you'd get um, if you'd get a, a clean sheet and you'd get a win, and it was dogged, you'd say that was a, a professional performance in a difficult place. Well done, move on to the next game. But now it seems like oh, we didn't play five star football, so we need, you know, we, um, you know, so that's a problem, but. Let's be realistic. If you want to talk about Fer under Ferguson, since you know hundreds of games like that, where we've not we've not been on the front foot, we've got a late goal, and you move on. But it's just now it seems to be that we have to play a certain brand of football, and we have to smash teams. And if we don't then we're lucky and there is something fundamentally wrong. Look, I'll be the first to, to say there are big problems at Manchester United. I think structurally, I think um, there needs to be change. I think we need a director of football. But yeah, and, and, and I agree with all that. But I don't agree with this, that last night we were terrible. Um, we weren't, I thought, the first half. We set out to uh, defend. We sat deep. Um, and the second half, we stayed in the game. They forced some good saves out of De Gea. That's his job, by the way. That's his job, and he's done his job. Um, and I thought he pulled out some good saves, some very good saves, and some saves that were, you know, just for the cameras. But, you know, then you look at Sancho, that's a positive. He gets his first goal for United. Ronaldo reacts. That's five and six for him. I thought Van der Beek put himself about pretty well um, during the game. So he started. I thought defensively, I thought Maguire looked uh, better. I thought it was bold of character to uh, put 
Fernandez on the bench. People use that term, don't they? Drop as if Fernandez has been dropped. He's been, well, he's made a change. Carrick's made a change, and fair play to him. You know, fair play to him. That's a big responsibility last night, and Unai Emery's got a really good record in this competition, and Carrick's got a win over him. So I, I can't wake up this morning feeling negative. Yes, I'm still sad about Ollie, and I really do wish it had worked out, but it hasn't. And so we move on. Now we've got Chelsea. If we get something against Chelsea, what we need to do um, in the search for this interim manager as that sort of continues as we just need to stay on the tails of those teams above us I'm not talking about the league that's gone that was gone a couple of months ago really um, but in terms of top four that should be our priority now in the league you've got to stay on the, the tails of them you've got to you know, pick up some points, get a, some kind of result against Chelsea, who are looking formidable at the moment, and they are my favourites for the league. A few weeks ago it was Liverpool, but I actually think it's Chelsea now. They do what Chelsea do, they're, they're, but they're not just efficient, they're, they're dangerous now. Before, I would say, in the past with Chelsea teams, they're efficient, they get a couple of goals, they sit, they sit there, they defend, and they, they grind out the results. But now, I think... They, they are they are a force and Tuchel has, has really turned it around there could he have done that with Manchester United with our players I'm, I'm not so sure I think they're different types of players um, and I think it's still a different kind of pressure there obviously there's still pressure because you would probably well you don't get as much time at Chelsea but you know, the objective there is to win the league I I'm not sure what our objective is um, but yeah, last night I thought I thought we played really well. I thought we were disciplined. I thought we were professional, and I thought this, on the hour, I thought the um, the game really turned with 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 the changes just just after the hour. Um, and now we move on to Chelsea. But what do you think about their game? About the performance last night? Do you feel like everything is is um, too negative at the moment in terms of? football and how, what part does social media play in that um, or if you've got any thoughts and comments on other videos why not let me know your thoughts but until next time thank you so much for watching why not subscribe if you haven't done so already uh, leave a like and until next time thank you so much for watching and i will see you all soon